I would describe my relationship with my brother a little chatpata, just like today's recipe, which is methi corn seek kebab with a tangy tomato chutney. So let's see how. First, I'm going to start with making the tomato chutney. Heat a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, let's add in some garlic paste. Saute it for a few seconds. Add in the tomato puree. For that, I've taken three tomatoes, boiled and pureed them. The tomatoes have reduced to half their quantity. And now I'm going to add in a tablespoon of chili sauce, a tablespoon of ketchup, half a teaspoon red chili flakes, a big pinch of sugar, half a teaspoon oregano, salt to taste. Mix all these ingredients and let them cook for around two minutes. Let's add in two tablespoons of water. Let it cook. Turn off the flame. Just add in a little bit of coriander leaves. Let this cool down completely. Time to make the seek kebab. For that, I've taken two cups of spinach, one cup of methi or fenugreek leaves and chop them finely. And now I'm going to dry roast them. Cook it till they dry out completely. Once the leaves dry out, add in two tablespoons of gram flour, roast it for a minute. The leaves are completely dried out and let's remove it in a bowl and cool them down. In the same pan, I'm going to add in one cup corn that I've churned into a paste. Cook the corn till it dries out. Once the corn starts to dry out, in this as well, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of gram flour. Mix well and cook till it dries out. Spread this mixture in the hot pan and let it cool down completely. While the corn mixture is cooling down, let's add in a few ingredients in our spinach and methi leaves. Add in half a cup of chopped mint leaves, one tomato de-seeded and finely chopped and make sure you squeeze out all the water. Four green chilies finely chopped, a tablespoon of ginger paste, half a teaspoon red chilli powder, one fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon garam masala powder, half a teaspoon chaat masala, a big pinch of sugar, two potatoes boiled and grated. Let's add in the corn. Make sure it's completely cooled down. Salt to taste. Half a lemon juice. Mix all these ingredients together. And if you feel the mixture is too moist, you can add in a little more of the gram flour or corn flour. Apply a little bit of oil onto your hands. And I have some kebab skewers here. They're square. Take a little bit of the mixture and start pressing it on the skewer. Keep spreading it very carefully. Make sure the entire skewer is wrapped with the mixture. Just place it over a bowl till we make a few more. Time to grill these seek kebabs. Now there are two, three ways of doing it. You can even grill them on a sandwich griller or if you have a skillet, you can do it on the flame. But what I'm going to do is the best way of doing it is directly on the flame. So let's turn on the flame. Take the kebab skewer and directly grill it on the flame. Be very careful with your hands. You need to cook them till you get a nice charred outer covering. Keep rotating them. Once it's slightly charred, let's place it back onto the bowl and let it cool down for a few seconds. In this way, let's grill all the kebabs. How to cut these kebabs? Do not try and remove the entire kebab from the skewer, it will break. Just take a knife and place cuts all around and very carefully remove each piece. You can make these sea kebabs in advance and all you need to do before serving is warm them up in a pan or just microwave for 20 seconds. Serve them piping hot and enjoy it with your family and friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.